This instructional video will help you learn and master each movement before advancing to the follow along version. Pause and rewind often and move on only when you feel confident. Hi, welcome to Primal 7's week two of the hip series. I'm Jenna Ellis, physical therapist for Primal 7. The purpose of this series is to improve flexibility that's limiting the hip, re-educate muscles surrounding the hip to work properly, and finally, put these together to achieve full range of motion of the hip with good movement mechanics. We will use five basic exercises in this series to promote balance and coordination of the hip. Our training format today is changing from timed holds to controlled repetitions. And our focus is on maintaining proper alignment through active exercise. As a reminder, our band will be set at mid shin. The rings will be locked and the safety covers will be pulled all the way up over the band release levers. The purpose of preparation is first to do a quick alignment check and practice stacking all the joints of the body in proper alignment for efficient movement. Second, to increase range of motion in all the areas that we train. And finally, to increase circulation so that our body is warm and ready to work. In this sequence, we will use the hamstring stretch to create flexibility and space in the back of our legs. And also the alternating march to work on muscle coordination and balance while improving your walking mechanics. We will first start with the hamstring stretch for five reps. To set up for the hamstring stretch, place your left foot directly underneath you with your toes slightly turned out. Then you'll place your right heel in the band. Gently grasp green and put your hands a little bit behind the band. It'll help you push the band out for a little bit better stretch. When you're ready, slide the right heel out till you feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg. After you're done, place the right leg down. We want to see five reps done on the right leg and then you'll switch for five reps on the left. Remember to keep your body up nice and tall. It's also helpful to focus on one thing about 10 feet in front of you for balance. If you start to feel unbalanced, first bend your knee, then bring your foot back to the ground. Refocus, then try again. After you're done with the last rep, place the band down, walk all the way out. You'll put the band underneath your chest and you'll be set up for the single leg alternating march. To set up for the march hold, walk the band all the way out and place it underneath your chest. It's also helpful to put both feet together and focus on something about 10 feet away. After this, you'll come into your lean, keeping your abs nice and tight or your butt squeezed. If one of these isn't squeezed, it'll either make you fall forward or arch your back a little bit too much. Make sure you're in nice and tight. From here, you'll lift up your left foot about an inch above the ground. Hold your balance, keeping your hips nice and level. Return the foot to the floor then. Then you'll pick up the right foot and repeat the same thing. We want to see five reps done on each leg. If balance is becoming difficult, try to lift the leg just a little bit lower. Also, if you need to regroup, stand back up, take a deep breath, and then retry. After you've finished five reps on each, you'll either go back to the hamstring stretch for round two preparation, or come out of the band, lay flat on the floor, and place your heels in the band in preparation for the bridge. In preparation phase, we focused on creating space in the back of the leg and activating our butt muscles to practice balance and maintaining our hips in a level position. In this training section, we will focus more on balance and coordination, 
activating the muscles we used in week one. Our goal is to learn how it's our body is able to maintain alignment during active motion. In this sequence, we'll be using the bridge to strengthen the lower body and also get a co-contraction of our hamstrings, our glutes, and our core muscles. And second, we will use the squat to strengthen the lower body again and also create space in the hips. We will start with the bridge for five reps. To set up for the bridge, you'll lay flat on your back with your legs straight and then place your heels in the band. What you'll do next is squeeze your butt, keep your tummy in nice and tight, and lift your hips up off the ground. You'll raise until your hips are parallel to your thighs. We want to see five slow and controlled reps. It kind of feels like you're lifting your bottom away from a really hot fire. After you complete five reps, you'll stand up, place the band underneath your shoulders in preparation for the squat. To set up for the squat, you'll place the band directly underneath your shoulders, come into your lean, keeping your butt tight and your belly tight. Feet will be spaced a little wider than shoulder width apart. Hands lightly rest on green. From here, you'll sit your bottom back like you're sitting into a chair. Make sure while you're doing this that your knees are not caving inwards. We want them pointing straight forward. It feels like you're sitting down into a chair or sitting onto a step. After you're done with your fifth rep, you'll either come out of the band and lay flat on the floor, put your heels into the band in preparation for round two of the bridge, or you'll come out of the band, place a chair in front of you, and then put your foot in the band in preparation for restoration round one of the quad stretch. of restoration is to cool down and give the muscles we worked a chance to relax. It also helps improve flexibility and carry it over into everyday tasks. In this sequence we will use a quadriceps stretch to improve flexibility in the front of your thigh. An added bonus of improved quadriceps flexibility is your kneecap will sit better in your patellar groove, lessening stress and strain at your knee. Let's move on to the quadricep stretch with a chair for 10 seconds each leg. To set up for the quad stretch, bring a chair in front of you for balance. You might have to adjust the band up a little bit higher depending on the amount of stretch you want to get. You'll center the left leg underneath you and then place the right foot in the band. Your knees will be parallel to each other. Squeeze the right butt cheek, abs in nice and tight, and raise your right arm. We want to see a 10 second hold. After 10 seconds, remove the right foot and then switch with the left. It's also helpful to pick an object about 10 feet out in front of you to focus on. Remember, abs in nice and tight, squeeze your butt, and look forward. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your thigh. With the restoration complete, take this awareness of the new positions you were able to maintain and perform today. This week, when you have to stand up from a low chair, make sure you're keeping your posture nice and tall, squeezing your butt, and pushing your heels away from the body in order to stand up nice and tall. Our emphasis today on maintaining correct alignment while going through repetitive motions will help strengthen the lower body and also create muscle memory for the brain to use for future use. In the next part of the series, we will continue to use the skills we acquired this week in order to increase our exercise capacity and intensity. It will build power and endurance. 
Remember, you can come back to any part of the series at any time you need. The focal points in this series continue to matter regardless of what kind of exercise you're doing, whether it be in the Primal 7 unit or anywhere else. Great job today, and I'll see you next week.